Hot 97, it's your boy DJ Young Chow, and I got the exclusive interview with Nyla Blackman, all the way from Trinidad and Tobago. Nyla Blackman, how are you doing? I am good. How are you doing? I'm feeling good right now. I'm feeling better that you're in studios with us. I know. I'm excited. So how do you feel about New York? Uh, I feel. I was just telling somebody last night, I feel like New York is now my second home. I mean, I feel like I have a lot of homes because there are a lot of islands and places that I love, but New York is definitely home to me now. Yeah. Wow. So Nyla Blackman, uh, I've been following your career since you started, but for all those who do not know anything about Nyla Blackman, can mm -hmm. you please give us like a brief description about yourself? Okay. Well, I am a singer, songwriter, musician, soca artist, and I am the granddaughter of the late great Ra Shorty. I also known as Lord Shorty, the creator of soca music. Wow. Um, I have a rich legacy and history where when it comes to music my whole family um and beyond that i'm just doing me doing music yeah so when did you start singing at what age i started singing at four years old four years yeah. old actually i think i started singing before that but i started performing on stage at four years old yeah okay so when did you start taking this music thing real serious music is extremely serious in my family so from since i was off the jump, could say when music was serious, but when I decided that it was really gonna be my career and what I was gonna do with the rest of my life was when I started writing and playing the guitar, and that was at 12 years old. So that was really when I started to morph into this sort of uh, artist, artist, you know what I mean? Yeah, really? so at 12 years guitar? old. Yes, I do play the guitar. You play any other instruments? Um, yes, I do. I play the pan and piano. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I play the pan too. Oh, yeah, sweet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bing, bang, 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 bang. <laughs> <laughs> so, Nyla, what's what's um what's coming up for you right now? Well, a lot is coming up for me because it's at the end of the year. So, you know, new music is being released. Uh, I have a lot of international collabs with African artists and beyond that. Uh, but this weekend, <laughs> you know, it's happening in New York. So yeah, yeah, that's yeah. really crazy. Yeah. So, so are you excited for your first on the rigging soap concert? I am. I mean, I've always heard about it. I, I know exactly what happens um, Labor Day weekend right. in New York. And when I heard that I was going to be on this show, I was like really ecstatic because I think it's a big deal. Yep. <laughs> you know, it's so funny. It's like um, they was asking me, who should I bring to on the reggae and soccer tip? So I, I threw a few names out there, but I was like, yo, you have to get Nyla Blackman. Thank because you. she's she's creating a whole new way for soca music, and I'm glad that they reached out to you and you're on the show now. Yeah, definitely. So that's definitely a good look. So, what is your upcoming like future plans for Nyla? Like, what do you see yourself in the next five, ten years? Like, what's going? on? Well, whenever people ask me five, ten years, I always say that we don't have to wait that long. You know what I mean? Okay. So I could tell you uh, what I see in the next two, three years because I think that's more realistic of me to tell you what's happening. But, you know, we want to put Soka on the international stage. We want to make it not just in the diaspora, people who know about Soka and Caribbean culture. We want it to be everywhere. You know what I mean? So I definitely want to win a Grammy for Soka music. That's, that's the plan. You know what I mean? Wow. You want to take it to the Grammys? I want to take it to the Grammys. Let's win a Grammy for Soka. Let's do it. Let's win a Grammy for Soka music. <laughs> like, you know what's funny about Soka music? Like, Soka music now is starting to build this huge, popular, like, audience right now they didn't yeah. have before. And, like, when I see you, artists like you, artists like Voice, Sha Marshall, and other artists, you know, taking it to a different pedestal, it, like, I feel really proud. And I'm, I'm happy that you're saying you're going to bring soccer music to the Grammys. Yeah. Because, you know, when you go on iTunes, soccer doesn't even have a category. It does not have a category, but we need to change that. Yeah, I have to. We definitely have to change that. So that's why I felt like this year um, I was nominated for a BT Award wow. um, for the Viewer's Choice Best New International Act. And I'm a soca artist, so all my songs that I've released is soca. And I felt like being nominated for the Best New International Act is that they see soca music as an international act. Yeah, we don't don't actually have our own category yet but it's just a matter of time you know what i mean everything happens with a movement and that's exactly what we're making right now you and me everybody right, right, <laughs> you know right. what I mean? so i see one of your songs is called soca right yes but you spell it differently 
Yeah. Why is that? Uh, because Soka, S-O-K-A-H, is actually the original spelling of Soka when it first came out. So when my grandfather created it, he launched Soka, S-O-K-A-H. And somewhere along the way, somebody did, a man named Iowa Fur actually, he did he did an article in the papers in Trinidad, and he spelled it S-O-C-A, and that typo changed the spelling of Soka forever. Because everybody after that called it S O C A. It was easier on the eye. It was and my grandfather really didn't care because he was just happy that people were latching on to what he had brought, this brand new music. Like who who creates a genre and say, This is like everybody knows Calypso, right? right? Calypso, reggae, that's what was happening in the Caribbean at the time. And in Trinidad especially, he was a Calypsonian, everybody knows Calypso. And he was like, you know, I feel like Calypso is African music. And, you know, we have chutney for the Indians, but he wanted a music that makes Indian and African than any other culture in Trinidad and Tobago one. Uh, so he started experimenting with the um, with the rhythmic patterns, the rhythmic patterns of the chutney music and of Calypso music and started to fuse them together. Not just the rhythm, but the sound of each instrument. So like the way the sitar was played and he put it on the guitar and he kind of just fused the two cultures, Indian and African. And he says it's the soul of Calypso, right? And Soka, <laughs> soul of Calypso and Ka, um, mean and divine in Hindi. So it was really that mixture and that was where it came from. And that's why he spelled it S-O-K-A-H because K-A-H is from Hindi, right? So when he changed when he changed the whole sound of music in Trinidad and Tobago and inadvertently in the Caribbean, it was like everybody was like, Whoa, what are you doing? Why are you trying to change what we know and love? Calypso. Like he was like, you know, this music needs to evolve, it needs to latch on to the youths and that was what he was doing then and I feel like that's what I'm doing now, where um Soka became in a space where I felt like it it needed to evolve again. It came that that time period again where the music that we know and love needs to evolve. And that's why I feel like I wanted to divert back to the original, right. which is S-O-K-A-H, you know? So, yeah. You taught me something I'd never knew. <laughs> and, like, like, I'm sure everybody's watching this right now never do that as well. Like, you, you guys are really looking at Rash Shorty Eyes' granddaughter. Like, this guy originated soca music this is a very big deal so he he originated soca music yeah do you think you're gonna take soca music to a different level like change it up a little bit or put your own little tweak into it well i definitely think i've already done that because when i first started um, doing soca. I mean, it, it first started with workouts, then to baila mommy and people listened to the music and they were like this is not soca and i uh, we were like, why would you why would you say that? My my manager and producer Anson Pro does all my songs and we kinda have a different outlook on music and on soca in general because people would listen to it and be like, This is not soca and I'm like, How could you tell me it's not soca? Right. It's it sounds different from the traditional soca and that's because we wanted to make it more palatable to the rest of the world. We think that the way it's been being done is a reason why it hasn't reached and crossed the borders that it hasn't for so many years. I mean, it's been around as long as dancehall and, and well, not reggae, but dancehall. Right. And it hasn't reached the borders that it have. I mean, yeah, we see it in the Caribbean pockets and even the Caribbean loving people, but... Uh, it hasn't crossed that barriers yet, and now is the time for it because I think now people are um, more open to experiment and try new things, and that's where it's more palatable to be to the ears. It's not just like pots and pants and really super fast where people don't even know how to dance to it, right. or you know. So it's 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 not just for Caribbean people; it's for everybody. And I think that's what you could feel from my music because even though some people say they can't understand me, you still could feel like okay, this is slow enough that I could like get a little bit of, like, <laughs> I could groove to it you know what I mean so yeah. yeah you have a very unique voice and I love it like when I first heard by La mommy I was like yo what you're right like I, I didn't know what it was because I'm like it sound like soca but it sound like something else but it's very unique and I, I like that about thank you. you so um I always like to put artists on the spot oh every okay. interview I do wow so now I'm gonna put you on the spot okay to see if you're like you know I want to test your skills out. <laughs> so okay. sing one of your favorite songs that you have done already. My favorite songs that I've done already that's been released? Yes, released, released. Okay. Um, 
<laughs> exactly, yeah. Okay. The, the pressure's on now, right? Um, it would definitely have to be Soka because that song means so much to me. Okay. It was a tribute to my grandfather. It was a celebration of our culture as Trinbegonians and Caribbean people. And as well, a celebration of the pan, our national instrument. True. Steel pan is amazing. So... Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's like girls gone wild. I go get my grey on hard as ice and sparkling gold. I'm in a tropical paradise. I call home. It's like an alpha and omega, Trinidad to Bega. When I see my people dancing, all I hear is soca all day long. Now go leave you for nothing all day long. Pango. Play for you, pong, ping, ping, pong, 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 pong. Hey! Ping, pong, 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 pong. Hey! Ping, put it a thing, put the thing, put the thing, put the thing. Somebody right. say so, God, till I die. Somebody say so, God, give me life. Somebody say so, God, keep it playing so loud. We ain't even know about anything but so, God. Oh my God, thank you, thank you, thank you. Nilo Blackman is in the building. Oh my God, I, I feel honored right now because <laughs> your voice you. is beautiful, Thank and you I so know much. that you're gonna take this to a whole different level. And I'm so proud. I'm so fortunate and happy to be part of this. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. Thank you. Know you. And, and, and as a DJ on my pedestal, if I could help you out any way, I'm definitely going to. Thank for you. For sure. <laughs> you know. So how can your fans, so people who's really like connected to you or trying to get to know you find you they can find me on all social media but on instagram at nyla blackman tt n-a-i-l-a-h b-l-a-c-k-m-a-n-t-t -T, and on facebook and in twitter at nyla blackman yeah so, so if someone wants to book you for a show how can they reach you they can email at nyla blackman music at gmail and also they could just find the booking info in my instagram bio yeah okay okay so any upcoming tours any cup and cup shows well, uh, you i have so many shows right. uh well at the end of the year we're going to australia All right. and to japan so wow. that's my first time being on that side of the earth so i'm super excited for that um we're heading off to belize right after new york wow. and it continues straight until the end of the year and what i'm so excited for in december i'm having again my well it's not my birthday bash this time because it's not my birthday this year but we're having on the 8th of december so Soka Origins, my very own concert. I had it for the first time last year. I'm going to do it again this year, and it's going to be bigger and better. I want to I be a part of that. <laughs> yeah, I want to be a part fly, of that. Fly to Trinidad. Let's I want to be a part of that. Yeah. For sure, for sure. All right? So, yeah, people, man. there you have it. Nyla Blackman, live on Hot 97. Stay tuned. Let's go.